Have you ever been... Fairy hunting? It's an ancient sport. Dangerous. Risky. Exhilarating. Seems simple. Catch the creature. Catch the fame. But they will outsmart you. Before you know it, you're the hunted. traces of your humanity. <laughs> Apply a primer all over your face to make sure your disguise does not move. <laughs> Choose a full coverage foundation that matches your skin really well and apply it with a sponge. <laughs> Use a concealer about three shades lighter than your skin to highlight underneath your eyes as well as prime your lids and brow bone for eyeshadow. You then want to take a translucent powder and set your entire face. Using thin strips of blue tape, this is not very sticky tape so it won't hurt your skin, you want to make a triangle going from directly between your brows to the tops of your forehead, as well as from the point of your chin back to the tops of your ears. Since the tape is not very sticky, you want to use some slightly heavier, stickier tape to make sure it doesn't move as you're applying your colors. <laughs> then with a purple eyeshadow, start defining your cheekbone contour. You can also bring this purple up around your temples. <laughs> and blend it in really well. For the triangle on your forehead, you can kind of do whatever, just use whatever colors you like. I went for a combination of purple and green and pink because I felt like they were really woodsy and to sort of blend them in whatever pattern that you like. three layers of cheekbone and cheek color so I chose a dark forest green to go on top of the purple and blend that into my hairline and temples as well you can then remove the tape and you'll see it creates a really really harsh sharp contour line and a perfect triangle on your forehead Blend that green up into the triangle so there's no bare skin seaming between them and then use a dark purple color to contour your nose. Prime your eyes with an eyeshadow primer of your choice. 
And go ahead and highlight your cheekbones with the most shimmery, whitest color you have. For the nose, I chose a really dark, deep gold color, and I also brought this onto some part of the triangle, blended it in a little bit, as well as part of the cheekbone color. For the eyeshadow, you can kind of do whatever. I decided to go in with a dark purple in my crease, the same one that I used to contour the sides of my nose. But you want to just let it be messy, you want it to be really, really blended, but as messy as you like, it doesn't have to be symmetrical, just kind of go crazy with it. I used that same gold color on my lids to create a bigger eye effect and then a little bit more of that dark green on the outer corner. I then lined the inner rims of my eyes with a black coal liner and finish it off with some mascara. I then took a white gel liner and an angled brush and I outlined the sides of the triangle with it to create a really, really harsh, exact line. I used a combination of blue and green neon liner with another angled brush to do my brows. I used the light blue on the inner half and then right after my arch I transitioned to the neon green and then I kind of blended them in in the center. I then took that same white liner and outlined the outsides of my brows with it. This created a really sharp angled look which I really liked. same white liner I then created a little star right beneath the point of the triangle on my forehead and then I drew in some more stars inside the triangle. <laughs> do this any way you like whatever way you like to do stars and then I finished off with some smaller stars dots with the liner in between the bigger ones <laughs> I then outline my lips, especially the Cupid's bow and that angle there with the same white liner. For my actual lip color, I used a bright purple on every part of my lip and I went over it with a dark cobalt blue and blended them in just to create kind of an ombre effect and it also makes your lips look a lot bigger. To have that dark color on the outside and the lighter color on the inside creates a really full effect. <laughs> stars beneath my cheekbone contour just to create kind of more of the vision of light underneath the dark. Again these stars are totally random you can do them however you like however big you like however small you like it is totally up to you and the sides don't have to be symmetrical on each side of your face. I then just did some little doodles beneath my bottom lip with the same white liner, which is kind of like a three line bar thing. I don't really know. I was just kind of being creative at this point and just sort of drawing on my face. I used a really shimmery highlighter to highlight my collarbones. You can't really see it too much here, but when the lights are lower, it definitely creates a more shimmery effect. And that is it for this Spring Fairy transformation. I hope that you guys enjoyed this 
part two to the video I did last year. If you've been subscribed since then, you're the real MVP. If you know where some of the clips in this video are from, let me know in the comments what you remember. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are not already. I would love to have you join our little Sparkles fam here. If you were following me on Snapchat and Twitter, you would have seen some sneak peeks of this video. So make sure you're doing that if you want to see some sneak peeks in the future. All my social media links will be in the description box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye. Yeah.